Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with another podcast. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for the past few weeks to talk about this whole Evelyn Lozada and OG situation. And honey, I just been sipping back, watching all this fuck we play out on social media, honey, and sipping slow because y'all know I don't rush to put on anything because I want to see how things play out. There's been so much mess going on with this situation. So I want to go ahead and break down how we got here because it was announced yesterday that Evelyn Lozado is going to be suing OG, okay? So all this stems from Basketball Wives And I hadn't watched Basketball Wives in years But I did tune in this season Because of all the drama With Tammy and Jennifer So that kind of piqued my interest So I've been tuning in Not watching it live But I DVR it And I catch it when I can And so if you guys don't know, about two weeks ago, there was an episode that aired where um, Evelyn is talking about Chad and she's trying to, you know, throw it in uh, OG's face. And OG's like, you know what? Um, Your ex was hitting on me back in 2011 when you and him were together. You know, he doesn't think I'm ugly and all this other stuff because Evelyn seems to have a thing with constantly calling OG ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this video of them going back and forth. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. CC is a mother bodyguard. Oh, no, y'all going to catch a fade. I'm not going to stop no it's one no now. Because you want to be in we this not moment. In the same weight class, you want to be in this moment. We not in the same and weight class, you would never be, baby. We not in the same weight class, boo. Yeah, no, no we're you're not. right. Actually, you're right. You're below me. No, exactly. I'm not below you. You are not with OG. Don't, don't even. Just like your baby's daddies, all canceled. Ugly. Ooh. Ugly. But I got a man, bitch. Ugly. Hey, Ocho Cinco Ugly. wanted me. Ocho Cinco wanted me. Girl, bye. I told Evelyn that OG was retweeting Chad. I know this girl was goofy, but not this goofy. Ocho was in my DMs happy, boo. Honey, your ex-husband wanted to get with me. So for you to call me ugly, what does that say about you? I'm your favorite athlete's favorite athlete. OG, are you obsessed with Chad or something? Because I married him. I f***ed him. I lived with him. Is that what you want? Because you can have it. I'm, I'm good. You a dumbass, tired-ass bitch. I got kids. I got family. I got A-plus credit. I got a mother Ooh, That no guy. That no guy. guy. Want. Evelyn screaming at me, pounding her Totally normal. I'm calmly responding, and I'm aggressive. Your will f- it all mother f- day. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and I was just so disgusted by that display of Evelyn's grown ass. I know she's well over the age of 45. She looks good for her age, don't get me wrong. But her sitting there patting her pussy and shit, it's like, really, ma'am? Like, could you have some cooth about yourself? You're a mother to a grown daughter. You know what I'm saying? Would you want Shanice behaving that way? It just doesn't make any sense. We don't believe you. All that patting on the coochie and time how wet and deep it is, I, I don't believe none of that shit, bitch. Because a lot of these women go from men to men to men. Okay, so I thought that display was kind of disgusting and that went viral all over social media Of course, we were clowning Evelyn for her behavior So then on this week's episode the shit hit the fan um, When Evelyn caught herself getting DMs printed out as receipts for OG and OG was like, oh, okay So we want to print out DMs and only show half of the DMs. Well, bitch I got the phone I have the full text conversation between me and your ex-husband So let me go ahead and pull this out. So when I tell you OG's ass dry Drop the bomb. Evelyn didn't know what to think. So y'all go ahead and watch this clip. It's kind of long. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay. OG said we can talk. Cece says she has nothing to say. You wanted to bring up Chad yesterday. You called me ugly. And I said, well, Chad thinks I'm beautiful because he, he does. does. Does he? He does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's pull out exhibit A, B, C, and D. Are you going to talk? Or are you? Are no, you no. Gonna... I'm going to pull oh, out okay. the DMs. Yours? No. Yes, boo-boo. No. Exhibit A, September 5th, 2013. Chatty, let's do lunch. Let me get my text messages. Okay. Exhibit A. <laughs> I'm getting my text messages because we pulling up Twitter and those are deleted and I'll print the real ones, the ones where he DM'd me first and followed me first. I'm not quite sure how she was able to conjure up old direct messages between Chad and I. However, the main component that's missing 
is everything that Chad said to me. You tried you're, you're like, you're having a conversation with yourself here. No. June 15, 2014. Actually, we met in 2011. 2011? What the f Chad and I, we were engaged. We got married in 2012, so are you just DMing a man that you know is about to be married? You're a goofy ass bitch. Chad, Ojo Cinco, it's my guy. So Chad was actually messing with OG while he was with Evelyn. You up. That's your guy? He's a good right. guy. That's I why he sent these. I never why he sent these and said I you're just those were deleted, boo-boo. I find it extremely naive and ignorant of Evelyn to literally think that Chad and I only communicated on Twitter. Like, girl, get it together. Connect the dots. The numbers were exchanged and separate conversations happened afterwards. You're having a conversation no. with yourself. That's Happy a lie. Father's Day. Here we All go. All my chatty bear. Here we go. Nice oh, seeing Jocinto. you today. January 4th, 2011. OK, you are fine. How old are you? Thank you. I'm 26. Right. Boyfriend? No. What about yourself? Well, I do deal with someone, but okay. we could be BFFs. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. So you're precious. You. I want more pictures. You look good. Would you like Bye. to know that you're still DMing you know. him? He knows. I think it's mighty funny that these ladies think that I would actually cheat on my man Kwame with Chad. The messages that I have are from Chad trying to get me. And the messages that I've presented are me saying we could be great friends. Strictly platonic. That's fake. That's this is fake. <laughs> That's fake. Evelyn's receipts are hilarious because they're huge. Like, she is not playing around. But OG's receipts? are kind of disturbing. Why, number one, were you talking to someone's husband when Evelyn was married to Chad? And why are you still talking to Chad when you got a whole man? Hey, my business. Oh, you missed the part where he said, yeah, I don't want your man to beat me up? You, you see me pull it up, and they won't be I deleted. I him, I married don't him, want we were together. That's the difference between Been me there and you. Did that. Chad Off wants to be wedding. with a are black you woman. You're not are you black. serious? You can gel your hair down as much as you want. I'm you can say this and now we're doing this so she's not black. How the are we now having race wars? Girl, come on now. Like we just we're not gonna we're not gonna do the race thing. No comment. Um, I'm not really sure where she is coming from with the whole Evelyn wants to be black thing. Like, what? You're not black! Evelyn has come to Costa Rica with cornrows in her hair. I have sat at dinner tables hearing her use the N-word left and right, and it's disgusting. I identify with being Afro-Latina, and guess what, bitch, I'm proud. So you can <laughs> my You want to be and black. And you were born in and L.A. As many black and all as you had, had your in your were born in you L.A. You will never Girl, be black. Girl, bye. OG pulling a race call, and it's a distraction. Bitch, stay on the topic. The real deal is you're messy. You can buy titties bum, again. You can bum, buy a butt again. Bum, this bum, is genetic, bitch. Which of genetic, bitch. No matter how loud OG gets and wants to shake her little dirty little ass, I feel like my receipts um, spoke for themselves. You better walk away. You better walk away. Watching Evelyn walk away is the greatest satisfaction and vindication I could have asked for. It is clear that she is day-old bread, and it's time to take out the trash. Jesus loves you, OG! Jesus does love me, which I is know. why I will always persevere. Just let it sink in. Jesus does love me, which is this why I, I will know, always persevere. This I know, because the Bible told me so. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So you guys just saw that clip. So then on top of that, OG then went to social media and she posted some more stuff about her DMs between her and Chad Ochocinco. So on top of that, um, she also coined Evelyn a racist and a colorist. You guys heard her in that clip saying that Evelyn's always saying the word nigga and things like that. Now, from what people tell me all the time, the reason why, you know, uh, people in New York get away with using the N-word constantly is because in New York, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, even Mexicans like Takashi 6 9 they're allowed to say the N-word because they've grown up around black people and that's just a word that people in New York embrace. But one thing I've noticed this is that it's usually the people, you know, of a lighter complexion, racially ambiguous, more Latino, who use the N-word like it's going out of style. 
Most of the full black New Yorkers that I know, yes, they may use the N-word, but not like the Puerto Ricans, not like the Dominicans. It's insane how much they use the N-word every other sentence. I've been to New York. I've heard it myself, okay? So if you're not from New York, of course, that's going to disturb you, especially when you see somebody who's racially ambiguous and you don't know if they're technically black, if they have black ancestry and things like that. So um, OG's pointing that out. She's saying that Evelyn Lozado is not black and that caused a huge debate on the Shade Room. And Evelyn came out and said that she considers herself an Afro-Latina and she considers herself black and her kids have black in them um, because um, her son's father, um, I think he's Dominican, so he has some black ancestry. You are such an inspiration for not only women out there, but for Latin women because you guys are so... For a long time, we're underrepresented on TV. Yeah. You know, but you came out and you really did it. You, Thank you. I'm so happy for you. I feel like I haven't been able to fully tap into that market, which it's like, it's such a huge thing. And I'm proud to be, I, I consider myself uh, Afro-Latina because I could, you 100%. know, I'm, I'm, I have backtracked my roots. So I know where I come from, you know, so I know, you know, I have a little bit of everything, Yes. you know, so um, it's funny because on the season, somebody was like, bitch, you think you black and I've never had anybody tell me that and I was so offended you know because I don't know I didn't know what that meant you know I'm like I think I'm black like I grew up in New York yeah you know what I mean I know where I come from I know where my I've done you know I've done DNA tests just to to to, to know yeah but I want to be able to tap into that more I'm proud to be Puerto Rican and and um you know I'm from New York and um Afro-Latina and all that good stuff. But I think, you know, when OG says that she doesn't consider Evelyn Black, I think she's saying that she doesn't consider Evelyn Black because obviously to look at Evelyn, you know, she looks more Hispanic. Her parents look more Hispanic. And we understand Hispanic people, Latin people, you know, Latinos, they have black ancestry in them. But for the most part, they can kind of play both sides of the fence, okay? They can claim full black when convenient, but then also be able to slide into the whole race racially ambiguous Latino category, okay? So, you know, the whole race thing is nothing new. We've hit on this, you know, numerous times on this channel. And Fat Joe also came out recently and said that he considers himself black and that's it. But that's a whole nother can of worms, okay? So at this point, Evelyn is really pissed off. So it was announced yesterday that Evelyn is suing OG and this is what's being reported by TMZ. So they're saying this. Evelyn Lozada claims that she's out on several endorsement deals because one of her basketball wives' co-stars called her a racist bigot. So now she's suing. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Evelyn claims that Ogum Oji Chinjindu called her a racist bigot on social media and ever since Evelyn posted a cryptic message to her more than 4 million followers on September 11th. So this is the post that OG posted here. Evelyn writes, everyone boycott this trash box. You are disgusting. Nobody watches you harder than the people that can't stand you. Then she made a little monkey emoji at the bottom. So then OG retweeted this on Twitter and she wrote, wow, so now black women are monkeys. And so... She also goes on to say, and there it is. Show your true colors, you racist bigot. You caught CC Ling Ling, Jackie a cockroach, and now me a monkey. May God take care of you well, Evelyn Lozada. At VH1, not okay. So that's what she wrote, and that went viral. So a lot of people have been coining Evelyn a racist and a colorist. So Evelyn also is going on to say this. Evelyn is now furious for starters. She says that she's of Hispanic descent, and her two children are of African and Hispanic descent. Evelyn also says that she's a chairperson to her foundation, which raises money for abused women and has raised thousands of dollars for the Sati Yeti Center for African Women. Evelyn claims that these are the actions of a person that's not racist. Evelyn says as a result of OG calling her a racist on social media, which was picked up on various celebrity sites, she lost several brand deal endorsements. Evelyn suing for defamation and infliction of emotional distress. She does not list the amount, but clearly now wants OG to pay up. So that's what's being um, reported. So now as of today, OG is finally responding and this is what OG is saying. So OG is saying, the devil and his faithful servants are working overtime, you hear me? Keep lying on me and see how that works out for you. Smooches, hashtag I heart OG, hashtag Nigerian knockout. So that is OG's response to Evelyn Lozado's lawsuit. Basically, OG does not give a damn, okay? She does not care. I don't give a shit!
And my whole thing is all of this is stemming behind Chad Ochocinco. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like if you haven't dated him and haven't been with him since 2011, why care? You know what I'm saying? You've moved on. You're doing better with your life. And let's not forget, he headbutted her. He was abusing her. So why even care? I'm not about to sit here and trip behind somebody I was with almost a decade ago. That just doesn't make any sense. You know, the whole situation is really crazy. Now, do I feel like Evelyn Lozada is a racist? No, Evelyn Lozada does not have the power to be racist. She doesn't have the power to hold anything back from OG. Now, I do understand that she's very cool with Shani. And if you guys don't know, Shani is now... Um, trying to basically get OG kicked off the show. And we know that Shani and Evelyn are like best friends. So she doesn't want her there. They're saying that OG is very disrespectful to the camera people, the crew, the staff, people who work on Basketball Wives. I'm not necessarily buying that because they could just be putting that out there to like, you know, help ruin her reputation. But I don't think that Evelyn is a racist, but I do feel like Evelyn does have colorist tendencies, okay? Because we've seen that time and time again, especially when people are racially ambiguous, they like to kind of toe the line. I find it funny that every time Evelyn goes to insult OG, the first thing she says is that she's ugly. Even when OG was twerking and shaking her ass, she says her dirty ass. So why when she's twerking and, you know, coming back at you, you're calling her dirty? Are you saying she's dirty because of her skin tone? Or are you saying what she's doing is dirty but then you're also the same woman patting your pussy so is that okay was that not dirty because I think her patting her coochie and doing all that extra stuff that was just as you know just as bad and then you know I remember when she was bullying Jennifer and she was talking about you know her being darker skin wearing purple contacts and you know making it seem like Jennifer had a lot of issues with her skin tone so you know I've kind of peeped some little colorist things that Evelyn has done over the years but being a colorist and being a racist is two totally different things. Now, as far as everything, I don't really feel bad for Evelyn. I don't have an issue with Evelyn, but I don't really feel bad for what she's going through because for years, Evelyn toted herself as the big bad bully of Basketball Wives, okay? But even though she appeared to be the victim with six stitches, many didn't believe her story. And here's why. <laughs> So when word of the headbutting got out, the internet lit up in a firestorm of controversy. Comments like, she definitely deserved it, and she's a bully, were everywhere. Do you understand why people have said the things they've said? I understand it, but I also think that it's like saying, well, look at that woman. That's, look at what she had on. That's why she got raped. You know, I just feel like, I feel it's a little unfair. This is the same woman who used to jump on tables, fling bottles at people. And then I remember when her and Jennifer went through their first tumultuous, um, you know, friendship breakup and the way she harassed and bullied that woman. It was insane. The disrespect that she showed her. You know, she punked Susie off the show. You need not to eat. I don't you care. Not to I eat. don't care what you think anymore. Okay, I really don't, because for me, you don't it's care. I'm you not going to be miserable. You was a bitch talking <laughs> of the bitch. You will realize, and I don't care anymore. For me, okay, of course you I don't, don't care. like yeah. you. I like you a lot. Okay, you don't like me. Well, I don't like you. It's I don't over. like you. And fine. And it's clear. And fine. And I'm and like, you know why? Because you run your mouth. Because you care about Okay, because of course you care about them, because they don't know the type of bitch and that you, really you are. you know me? I you know, know you. Me. I know How long you. have you known me? I know you. How you know what? In the few months that I know you, in the few months that I know you, you run your <laughs> mouth. Okay, we're so all together. We're that? all together. Why talking. should I know that? Why should I know that? Because you run your mother <laughs> mouth. That's why. Care. What do you oh, do? What do you do? Actually, I just posted big I just got to be a bitch, please. And you trying to be a commentator on TV. And you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't even Speak, and bitch. And you, what do you What do you mean, bitch? I own a business. I take I take care of my daughter. What the do you do? I get up, I'm at my business six days a week. That's good. And what that's the I, you, I, you know what I'm trying to say? You don't do I admire you. You get a child support. I think you're great. Damn month. And I should. I've got two please. Get out of here. She was always into a Royce and, and things like that. I mean, she stayed throwing drinks at people. She just stayed just carrying on. But then with OG, she met her match. 
One, OG can fight, okay? She plays professional women's football, okay? Get the fuck out of here, bitch! So OG will whoop the shit out of Evelyn. I, I just I just have a damn feeling, okay? So you people know when they've met their match. And it's always funny when the bully then in turn gets bullied and now they're the victim. I can't feel bad for her because because your whole persona in the reality TV world is that Evelyn is the big bad Puerto Rican woman. You can't say nothing to her. You can't come at her no type of way because she'll check you. She's always been shining all them pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? But see, the problem is she couldn't punk Tammy because Tammy will put hands on Evelyn. Okay? Missing the point of what the I'm saying. I'm saying. You are a non motherfucker, bitch. Okay. No. 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 So she had to make amends with Tammy and OG's not scared of her at all. So now she's trying to play the whole I'm a victim, I'm being bullied, I'm being harassed. But she did the same thing to other people. So I call this karma. You know, you got to watch the energy that you put out there. You might get away with being a shitty person for months, even for years. But then eventually you will meet your match. And that's what all bullies eventually do. They eventually meet their match. And then all of a sudden you'll see all that toughness go out the window. Because when it comes down to it, most bullies and loudmouth bitches are punks. Point blank, period. They're not about that life. They just they just talk a good game. They're just super loud, super disrespectful. And all that's doing is basically trying to cover up their insecurities because they're lacking in something. So if I can be big, bad, abrasive, just ratchet, mean, dragging people, just, you know, just putting out all this toxic energy, it says more about them than the people that they're going after. So I don't feel bad for Evelyn because I don't feel bad for bullies. You know what I'm saying? So... It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But that is my opinion on the whole Evelyn Lozado um, OG situation. I know y'all have been waiting for this. But like I said, I like to, you know what I'm saying, let my tea uh, seep and marinate, bitch. Okay? So anyways, y'all, thank you guys for joining me for this podcast. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, honey. We're trying to get to a million subscribers over here. Make sure you hit that like button. And most importantly, hit that bell so you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know, are you guys team OG on this? Are you guys team Evelyn? Or are you like me, like all these chicks are too old to be involved in this fuckery, okay? But I'm going to still watch it because I'm here for it, bitch. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.